grab a goal and push ahead unless they're making mistakes. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So it's super important that they capitalize. Let's go into the game here. Yeah. We got uh, Healthy Hamsters versus Sunrise Land. Sunrise Land in the orange, Healthy Hamsters in the blue. We got our money on Sunrise Land, but I, 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 I'm putting my reserve bets on Healthy Hamsters here coming out and playing well as subbing. Place this one up I'll and take over. Take that side bet, man. <laughs> <laughs> Open over the net. A miss by Liquid Zolhe. Oh, the Roadhog. We have a Roadhog. He must have heard me. I don't believe it. He heard me. I don't believe that one bit. Oh man. I think does he play breakout? I swear he I don't, does. I don't remember, but that that it, he heard me. No way. No way is he playing Roadhog on purpose, um, or at least normally. But uh, we see Sunrise Land formulating attack here. Healthy Hamster is giving a lot of space. No one in net. For healthy hamsters, as Sunrise Land goes up 1-0. Right, you know how you feel about making that bet now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, actually, but such a great shot out of something. Oh, he's got the Roadhog too. Are they all using? Are they all using Roadhog? What? <laughs> Is this happening? Are they actually using Roadhog? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting it? trolled right yeah. now, man. <laughs> Oh, man, they definitely heard that. Yeah, they're all so using Roadhog. They're all <laughs> using Roadhog. Okay, well, I'll bite my words. Yeah. <laughs> As you see, Healthy Hamster's trying to make an advance here. <laughs> Subin playing this one up to Zolhe with the Roadhog, playing it across. This one might go in automatically. It does off the corner. What? Zolhe. Is Roadhog the answer? The Roadhog. <laughs> Is Roadhog the answer? Zolhe off the wall. Oh, man, what a touch. Oh, I actually... <laughs> Those are Rodot angles. <laughs> <laughs> those are those weird angles. Pretty I know meta. Gibbs was telling me I always score I always score weird goals like that. Yeah. You know the ones that just bounce right. weirdly? Just Everyone's like, in. what? It goes yeah. in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think one of them is actually using the Roadhot XL as well. I don't know if I don't know which one it is. I think it's Zohe, I, yeah. th I think so. Yeah, but uh healthy hamster is putting this one up and over the crossbar is an opportunity for them, but they all commit and no one connects. So sub in now. Second land champion here, dribbling the ball up the field as Zohe. Deflects that one out towards his own half. A good flick on from Viking. See if they can get something here. A good bounce from him as well. But Zolhe there to clean things up for Sunrise Land. It's twice the tank. Gets a dunk. Going across the Seabass. Seabass can't capitalize on it. Now Sunrise Land has a ton of time to do something with this ball. Gets oh, it past what Viking. good patience. The a pass to sub in. The shot on net off the post. Oh, he's Chance so ball close. Up. <laughs> so he's so close. Trying to get a hold of that one, but doesn't have anything going for him as he... Tries to put a shot on net. A weak shot coming out from him. Subbing. Playing this one to his own teammate. Liquid trying to flick this one on. Viking with a good stuff there. Doesn't get it again, though. As Liquid's up for this one. Plays it off the backboard. No one's there to follow up. Healthy Hamster's lucking out there. But Zolhe keeping the pressure on. Playing it into the corner. As he tries to flick this one up for his teammate. And ricochets out. But, you know, Healthy Hamsters, they're weathering the storm right now. I know they're down two goals. Mm -hmm. But they look sound enough to kind of make... A play happen here like they're gonna sneak one in here or or you know something's gonna happen for them right something something we actually don't talk about that much in the rocket league community but that's something really important you see all the top teams do it whether they think about it or not it's something that you know they all happen to be skilled in is map control they're mm. doing such a good job at controlling the map and what that means is that at any given moment there's always a player on sunrise land ready to rotate to the ball ready to hit it or uh, anticipate or the just be in the way yeah, yeah such a good job at reading the game yeah yeah and positioning themselves to be able to deal with wherever the ball may potentially go and that's why we see them playing so quickly up and down the field i mean it's really excuse me it's really almost just a couple seconds from the transition from defense yeah. to offense the counterattacks are so quick and they're doing a really good job at also positioning each other to follow up you know, passing the ball off the wall to their teammates, like yeah. we just see, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and no, so but you're so right. And But, you know, I would say Healthy Amsters have had the better uh, opportunities here in the last minute or so. So it's only a matter of time until I feel like they're going to break down the defense as Seabass oh, getting a, a good shot. shot into the middle, but no one's there to follow it up. They're having, they're doing better <laughs> transitions as Vikings Another using the Roadhog. Roadhog. I just noticed <laughs> that What as is well. going on? Twice the tank now with a lot of time with this ball. A good decision here to dribble it. Can he flick it up and over the oh, defense? Oh, he, he gets does. It. Oh, healthy hamsters. Oh, man, make me bite my words. They can do I it. I told you, man. Look at this dribble. Oh, my God. Pushes the ball on top of his car and pops it over. Oh, Roadhog Excel, not big enough. Not tall enough. <laughs> not big enough. Yeah. Maybe not the new meta. Who knows? But, man, that thing is disgusting. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so we see healthy hamsters winning a kickoff once more. Playing it into the Sunrise Lands, Sunrise Lands half. As Zolhe tries to get this one out, but it's still dangerous. As Healthy Hamster is keeping the pressure on, subbing now, bringing this one down, 
Tries to get the flick, but he whiffs as, uh, or excuse me, Viking gets the clear out. Seabass trying to center this one for twice the tang. He gets the second hit, but Summon's there to block that one. As now Sunrise trying to counter, but Healthy Hamster is doing a great, actually doing a really good job of, you know, controlling this midfield right now. Like, mm -hmm. they're, they're just not letting Sunrise, as soon as I say that, they get across. But they're doing a great job. A great cast coming off from oh. Zolhe and the shot from Liquid. Sunrise then pushing the lead to 3-1. Yeah, you know, after commending them for great midfield play, uh, they give up a really cheap goal here. I mean, it was such a slow play, and it was kind of an awkward positioning from, from both sides. Quite honestly, uh, I don't think Healthy Hamsters even had to commit to that ball exactly. right there. He should have waited for the that. ball to come across the goal and have himself positioned in the net to come out as it crosses the goal so he can hit it at the very first possible opportunity. That goal was so close, or the ball, sorry, was so close to the goal line that it's so difficult to save just by sitting in yeah. goal. Yeah, you're, you're totally right. I mean, just being patient sometimes pays off a lot more than trying to be the first one to the ball. Most definitely. It's twice the Tang playing this one. An open net. He, he just plays that one perfect, but Subin actually puts it up and over the crossbar. Viking trying to get another one off the crossbar. Here comes Seabats. Can't get the shot on net as there's 10 seconds left, and this one I think is going to go in favor of Sunrise Land. As Subin puts it, that's the dagger right there. If there was any chance, maybe a kickoff goal with 10 seconds left with your down by one after scoring, but... No way. 4-1 now. Five seconds left. The Roadhog. Look at the ball control. Putting that one away. Yeah, great control from Seven. A simple goal. Just punishing the overcommit. Coming out of healthy answers. But, you know, when you are down, like we said before, you do have to commit to risky plays. And they went for it. They couldn't get it. And unfortunately, leads to them giving up another goal as our last game ends. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I would say that this score is not reflective of this game. I felt like ha Healthy Hamsters was actually really in this game. They had a, a ton of uh, offensive pressure. They had chances mm -hmm. left and right. For a while there, they were really controlling the game. I mean, they were the ones in control for a while, uh, holding that midfield down, and, and they and they kind of let it slip out of their hands, I feel like. Right. I think that they did definitely play a game that is better than a 4-1 uh, scoreline may, may reflect. Yeah. Uh, you can see they definitely had shots of their own. I believe they had... They had five shots compared to uh, six. <laughs> compared to six, so healthy hamsters definitely yeah. is in the game. They're definitely showing that they also uh, at least had a say they in had how a fighting the play chance developed. In this right? game. I mean, you know, being down three goals, it, I don't think it's again not reflective of how this went. I think I think if they lock down their defense mm -hmm. and and they be a little more patient on these balls going into the corners, patience they have, again so important. Yeah, I think I think I think they have a fighting chance at this. I game. think they did give up some goals. I, I wouldn't call them cheap, but just simple mistakes, things yeah. that you don't want to see at the highest level of play. Exactly, exactly. As we're going into game two here, Sunrise Land leading 1-0 in the series. Liquid trying to pop this one up with the defense, but a good block coming out from Healthy Hamsters. Can someone follow it up? Vikings there with the Roadhog. Playing it off the Seabass, a bad clear from Subin, but a good save from Zolhe as he gets ball control. Twice the Tang getting in front of that one. Now Subin popping this one up, following it up. Over to Zolhe, tries to play this one across. A great combination play. Oh, that was on target. Seabass nice shot. getting in the way of that one. That would have been beautiful. Now, Healthy Hamster is playing this one up and over. and Drop down for him, but no one's there to follow up. you got to be there for those. Well, right. The th <laughs> you got to. <laughs> <laughs> the third member out of uh, Healthy Hamsters, he was actually a little bit too far back. And I think he was scared to go for the ball because one of the teammates actually was just lurking on the goal line. Maybe he was looking for a bump or something. But in reality, he should have actually been pushing himself and repositioning further back towards his own goal line so that his other teammate could commit to the ball. Yeah, definitely, definitely is twice the tang. Plays this one across. Healthy hamsters, no one to be found. As Zolhe tries to flick this one on. Sub it. Bring this one down, playing it off the backboard. Nothing doing for Sunrise as healthy hamsters. Good flick from twice the tang, but couldn't follow this one up. Now Liquid playing it back to himself. Can't connect as Viking gets up, but he has a whiff. It's because he's using Roadhog. Seabass <laughs> playing this one to sub in. <laughs> the ball just flicks over everyone. Now a shot coming out from Zolhe. It's off the crossbar. A good save from Seabass. Ball popping up dangerous for healthy hamsters. A great shot from Subin. What a shot coming what out from Subin. What a cool sensational. Take a look at this. Oh, God. Roadhog, man. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. He angles his car. Gets so much power turning yeah, the really far did. side of his car to get make sure he has more of his car behind the ball when he touches it. And really, he gets so much power behind it. And, and wow, it's so difficult, especially that angle when you're driving away yeah. from the, from the yeah, goal. Yeah, he got a lot of power for the angle and the momentum that he had for that. 
But uh, we're going into this one again. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of time left. 1-0 game for Healthy Hamsters. And they've had, again, a whole bunch of opportunities. You see Seabass flying up for everything right now. It, it's just a matter of time until they're going to break them down and maybe get a goal. But Subin putting a shot on net. A good save by Viking. As Zolhe beats Seabass out to this ball. Tries to air drag that one over. As Seabass tries to play this one over to twice to Tang. A good flick off the wall here. As Liquid... Dribbles this one on the wall. Tries to play this across. Sub in there. But oh. a good save from Seabass. A good shot coming out from Zolhe. Can Sub in follow this? He's up for it. He can't get it, though. Oh, the mystery come from Sub. I think he committed that ball a little bit early. I really thought we were going to see a goal there. Healthy Hamsters overcommitted so early. All three of them were rushing back. But uh, Sunrise Land just not taking directive enough of an approach, you know? Yeah, they yeah. They need to push that ball towards the center of the field earlier, not not just take it along the walls. That's actually oh. the longest distance to the goal. Right, and I think Sunrise Land is really looking for those combination plays right now, and they're getting one or two of them, but they're not connecting on the third one. Right, and definitely a lot more team play yeah. coming out of Sunrise Land. Yeah, this is the most team play we've seen out of all the teams, I'd say, tonight um, is, is from Sunrise Land at least. But this is a chance now for healthy hamsters. They just need a goal to tie things up here, but Zolhe able to bring this one down, playing it into the Healthy Hamsters half as Healthy Hamsters deals with that one. Liquid bringing this one down again. Tries to pop it up. Doesn't do a great job as two go for that from Healthy Hamsters. Off the backboard, can someone follow it up? They can't. Good pressure coming out from Healthy Hamsters. But again, they're, this is the same problem that Sad Cats had is they're doing a lot of good things, but they're not they're not getting anything dangerous in front of the net right now. Right. They had it a little bit in the first game, but now as this match has kind of worn on, they're not really getting dangerous chances anymore. You know, they're playing it across the box as Subin tries to play this one up and over the crossbar and a great oh, pass coming out from Subin. What a team play Subin. coming out of Sunrise Land. The Roadhogs are united, <laughs> man. They're in sync. Take a look at this pass from Subin. He jumps just getting the ball off the crossbar and, it, and off the backboard, excuse me, and it bounces straight to Zolhe. He did such a good job reading that ball. Yeah, great read coming out from Zolhe. A 2-0 scoreline for Sunrise Land. Backs against the wall now for Healthy Hamsters. A minute and a half left. There's more than enough time to come back from 2-0, but they're going to have to do something special here. I mean, they're really going to have to play way more aggressive. And I think something that a lot of the maybe lesser experienced teams or lesser skilled teams uh, seem to do, like a common mistake, if you will, is they keep the ball on the sides of the field, and they never actually... Uh, cut inwards towards the center as they move into attack. You know, the, the middle of the field is the most dangerous yep. part of the field. Oh, good when play from twice the tank. He plays it over two. Doesn't have a, doesn't get that one, though, unfortunately. He beat two defenders on that cut. That could have been the game-changing play Ooh. for healthy hamsters, but unfortunately... What a play from Southern, but this is, again, what I mean. Look how he hits this ball, again, from the center of the field, again, off the backboard yeah. to himself, and look how difficult it is for them to... Save it. That's actually such a great goal yeah. coming out of sub in. It's so difficult to hit that with so much control and yeah. keep it underneath the crossbar. I don't know how these guys are doing it, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, watch it, you know, watching it from his camera angle, it looks so relaxed, so calm. Going up, mm -hmm. hitting that ball off the crossbar, coming up, following up, putting it away. It seems like a routine play, but that's a very hard play to make as Zolhe puts another one away. 30 seconds left, 4 0 for Sunrise Land, and unfortunately, my underdogs look like they're going to fall here. Right, Sunrise Land just dominating this game, like every aspect of it. And there's been very few, if any, attempts from Healthy Hamsters. Like I was saying before, they just don't move the ball towards the center of the field where there's a little bit of... Uh, oh, this is the chance for them, though, but they can't get it off the kickoff. <laughs> if it was going to be there, if it was going to be that, it was going to be there right there. Off the kickoff. Subin. Gets, Zolhe gets demo, excuse me, not Subin. Subin trying to play that one off the wall, trying to get the double tap again. A good pass out to Twice a Tang, a play into the middle, but they can't do anything about it. It seems like they have two players going for something and just one defender seems to do <laughs> Liquid with the 360 spin. <laughs> <laughs> what a game we have here. Yeah, this one's all but over. Oh, the freestyle coming out from Liquid. He doesn't get it, though, at the last second. That would have been awesome. All right, Sunrise Land taking that one 2-0. And Sunrise Land, I mean... We expected this, right? I mean, this is the right, team that definitely. we thought we were going to come out and, and, and dominate. So this isn't a surprising thing, but uh, you got to give credit to Healthy Hamsters. I feel like I feel like they did uh, they did pretty well. Right. I mean, again, like I mentioned before, Sunrise Land is a very strong team full of players who are experienced in actual uh, professional gameplay. They've yep. been in tournaments before. They've been ranked in the top 10 before.